Hi, Sam. This is Connor Hallblood, candidate for Congress in Kentucky. Oh, uh, hi, Connor. Uh, you're you're running for Congress in what uh, district? It's the 5th District of Kentucky. I called, I think, back in August, and you and I talked uh, briefly. How's it going? Uh, this is the Eastern Kentucky District. It's going good. I wanted to just quickly update you all. Um, it's going really good. We've got our message out. Uh, we talked a lot about water, clean water, uh, able to get on the radio, able to get on television. Uh, that's all good. And I just wanted to quickly um, kind of just introduce your listeners, listeners to some old school corruption going on. Uh, I think you might be interested in Sure. sure. So my opponent, Hal Rogers, has been there since 1981, and uh, he's got his name on every building in the district. And right now we're actually kind of trying to fight against one of the polling places is literally called the Hal Rogers Regional Fire Training Center. Uh, so when people cast their vote on November 8th, they'll be casting it on a building with his name plastered all over <laughs> Jesus, really? That seems not appropriate. Uh, the irony is, of course, y he could not hold a sign, right? Right. 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 He could not mm -hmm. hold a sign that says "vote for vote for 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 Lee Harris." Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, it's. I don't know if anyone there can get oh, my Robert, Twitter. Sorry, it's, sorry. it's on the yeah. It's on the first. It's it's right on my Twitter. You can actually see the picture, uh, and it. Especially one of them sort of looks a little campaigny. You know, it's just uh, this is something that happens. It doesn't happen everywhere, but this is something that happens in places that are controlled by you know politicians for a very very long time, uh, and it's an issue. And we're trying to make a trying to make a bigger bigger issue out of it. Yeah, that seems like um, uh, uh, something that's a little bit problematic. There, we got a picture up here of the Hal Rogers. Um, <laughs> Uh, regional uh, um, uh, voting place. I mean, it's the fire training center, but it's where you vote. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, you have the opportunity to vote for Hal Rogers there. <laughs> yeah, mean, his name will happen. Well, it'll happen to be on the ballot with, along with my name. Yeah, but. I mean, it's funny, but also disturbing in many respects. Um, also, right. Let me ask you this, too. You mm -hmm. there's also isn't there also a referendum on abortion there, like akin to the Kansas one? Yeah, there's a constitutional uh, amendment, and so this is uh, referendum two. Uh, referendum one is no is no good either. It uh, it gives the legislature a little too much power here. But referendum two is the big one here. So a lot of us on the left are uh, you know doing the vote no on two uh, thing. Okay, so that, uh, that otherwise that, it'll that, be impossible. Right? It doesn't it, it mm -hmm. doesn't enforce the um, it doesn't enforce the right of uh, to an abortion. But it 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 is an ab an abortion ban. It's an abortion ban in the, into the Constitution, yeah. Which of course, as you know, is going to be would be almost impossible to to defeat if that if that went through. Right. All right. Well, good luck with that. Um, uh, where can people, uh, if they want to get more information about your campaign uh, and to help out in these final days, where could they do that? Uh, so you have my Twitter up there, Connor underscore Hoplive, and then my website, Connor, C-O-N-O-R, for the number four, Kentucky, connor for kentucky com. But I just wanted uh, wanted you all to see there's still some good old-fashioned, uh, old-school corruption going on. Yeah, that's nice to see. It's really uh, makes me a little <laughs> sentimental. That's very, that's very sweet. Um, appreciate that. Uh, 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 give us a call Tuesday night. Let us know how you're doing. All right. Will do. Thank you all. Appreciate all right. it. All right. Bye-bye. You know, I gotta say the uh, I do think there's something of a devolution that, like the Minnesota Timberwolves Stadium used to be called the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome, because it used to be named, these things used to be named after like civic leaders, and now it's all like Crypto.com yeah. Arena. And stuff I like know. That. Well, because they're selling it off. Exactly. Yeah, they're selling it off.